What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi. I'm with my boy Kai right now. Uchi gang. And as always, we are back. How y'all doing, doing, doing today? So, welcome back for another special episode of the Full Power Podcast. It's been a long time. This is episode five, but this is kind of like a reboot, refresher. And I'm not alone. My boy here is chilling like the villain that he loves, a.k.a. Let him, let him know what your favorite is. Goku Burak. <laughs> all right, so you see that energy? The energy is all here. The energy is full power at its full power. Right. Nothing less. Simply, uh, this is, as the title uh, kind of teases or just kind of reveals that, this is most certainly going to be a Dragon Ball-centric podcast. All right, so there will possibly be some tangents here and there later on <clears throat> towards the end of each episode because full power is kind of out of control as we all know of Broly obviously so that's something that you know you you might get your shot at <laughs> squeezing something or slipping something in there if you want to definitely try to make some kind of comparison but the whole like I said the whole point of this is to bring you guys way more Dragon Ball content to the channel on a more uh, regular basis um we're going to be talking about the things that are going on in the community with, you know, from the video games, the the anime, whenever the hell that decides to come back. Uh, <laughs> the manga. <laughs> triggered nice and early. I know. The, the manga, <laughs> for sure. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, pretty much anything, anything Dragon Ball. I don't know if you guys can see this right behind me. The Dragon Ball Visual History uh, book is something that I've actually had sitting in my room for about a week and a half. Um, I've been that busy that I haven't even opened it up until now, so that way we have a nice little backdrop um, to go along with this uh, with this podcast. So, first and foremost, Kai, how you doing? Pretty good. I had you know I kind of had a long day, but this oh is, yeah, this is same. where it needs to end. This is like this yes. is just. This is home. This is this is Dragon Ball. Bro. Yes, exactly. It's Dragon Ball. This is this is literally exactly how I wanted to how I wanted to feel. I've done so many different podcasts in the past, and I can <clears throat> tell you that podcasts can be can feel like they are like tedious or they're like a pain or mm -hmm. they get after a while when you do so many, it's just like it's it it, it it almost feels like it becomes a chore. I don't want that to be like this. I just want us to come back whenever it's like, you know, a week or whatever. Come through, like totally disconnect from everything. Be like, all right. And like sizzle out and be like, all right. So Dragon Ball, uh, <laughs> right. Dragon Ball, right? Um, as far as the news goes, there really isn't a whole lot going on right now, obviously, first and foremost. So it's a really good way to come back, right? You know, reboot episode five with nothing. No, there's plenty of things to talk <laughs> about, okay? We just got the latest chapter um, like about a week ago. A week ago, chapter 54, right? Yep. Yep, yeah, 54. 54 came out, did a review. Kai was in that one as well. Um, and it was pretty much like a off the cut. Like I literally read the chapter in front of this man and pulled out my phone and just said, okay, hit record because I got to do this. Cannot wait. Need, the thoughts and the ideas, the theories need to start yeah, they, circulating. Oh, man. We go crazy sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> the, the only thing that's crazy is my dumb ass not thinking about having you on this John sooner. <laughs> Because, because we go crazy when because, we talk Dragon Ball. Exactly. And that, that, <laughs> I just want to, just, just similar to how I decided to record reactions for Super, mm -hmm. is the same concept with this. Like, I just want to capture the authenticity of myself and you now. And, you know, of course, obviously, Brother Ooch in the reactions, that was just literally like... Something that we 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 were already acting like this, not even acting like we we were. Nah, it was natural. We, that's how we are. That's what yeah, I'm trying to say, yeah. right? And I was just like, dude, let me just put a camera in front of us and like I'll upload it to my YouTube channel. And he was like, okay. Similar thing with this full power podcast is just another outlet to just continue these conversations and all that stuff. And literally anything Dragon Ball is fair game. I don't need yo. Yeah. See, this is this is what you guys are here to see. Ready? <laughs> The stuff that just comes up and pops in my head, right? Yeah. This man recently told me, and I'm, I'm, I have to admit, I haven't had the chance to check it out yet, but there is a fan-made 
alternate version, right? You were tell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, tell them about it. Please, please, please. Rebirth yourself. Oh my god. Tell like, them about it. All right. So, I don't I don't was it was it his name? I don't want to put his name. I think it was Young GG. Oh, he, right? he did it? Yeah. Yeah. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Dude, y- first of all, Young GG for those that don't know, if you have a Twitter, you need to follow him. <laughs> okay, Young GG is like one of the best Toriyama styled artists out there i told you i told you bro that i love young gg if i could ever get a commission from young gg i would feel like my life was complete <laughs> but go ahead continue please i'm sorry yeah yeah uh, no it's cool um yeah young gg did this did a did like a you know kind of like a what if story you know of your dragon ball supers a, a part of goku black story where you know the the first time goku black actually met up to fight goku and you know he went to the future he used he picked up trunks's uh trail like off the spaceship or whatever and he used the time ring to go into the future and when he did that he got to fight goku and we all know he kind of ran out of time because he's not supposed to stay there Facts. so he got sent back young gg did a story of when he got sent back with the time ring shout out then look he his, got look at his finger oh yeah bro this shit should go. Oh my bad. No, no, no. You know, no. this is all. This is full power. We're out of control. We're out of. <laughs> we're out of control. We're out of control. All right. Well, I'm gonna, try, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep myself in check, but it's gonna get a little crazy. <laughs> yes. So, but yeah, Young GG did a story of when he got sent back to the what, like back to the future, right? Back like, to the back. Back. All right. So when he got sent back to the back. Back to the back. Back to where he came from. He noticed there are life forms here. It, they, like he had wiped out all the life forms, but there were life forms here. He was confused. He got sent to the GT verse at that time. And within seconds, bro, the story clicks off. Within seconds, Goku GT, like kid Goku GT, just picked up on that. He was like, there's somebody's energy here. Who here? Goku Black just went and seeked out like the toughest, like the toughest nigga there. He was just like, oh, they start flying straight toward each other. Story begins. Done. And that fight, like, as you said, like, Young GG, like, that was, bro, that was cold. Like, every, every frame, like, panel, like, oh, like, he just did it right. Like, he captured the essence of all the characters, like, the story. It was, it was tough. It was tough. Dude, when you told me about this the first time, I felt like I had to pull over. It was, oh, my God. Because, it was so tough. Dude, for, okay, now, this is, this is kind of like a, a transition segue, kind of, right? Cause I want, I, I know we've talked about this, but this needs to be documented, right? Yeah, go check that out. I need, so first and foremost, I definitely want to check that out and I want to check it out soon so that we could talk about, about it more here. So we kind of like do a little review for it, right? Um, but the thing that I wanted to bring up is that I feel like all the people that hate on GT, low-key love it. Yeah, cause like they they like they like small stuff that came out of it. You know, like we were talking about before how people like people hate on GT, but they're like, oh yeah, Super Saiyan Four, you know, badass, best badass, most most you know godlike Super Saiyan transformation they've seen or something. You know, and like, and you know, and before Super. My reason, especially, it has a lot to do with this drought that we're currently in. Because let's face it, even though there is Super Dragon Ball Heroes. A lot, like the general consensus that I've seen online is that people are kind of just getting over Super Dragon Ball Heroes. As cool as and enjoyable as it is, and I personally like it, but then there's just moments in the, in the you know, the anime that it, it just, it just, it doesn't hit the same. I mean, yeah, that's true. There's moments that hit, that hit pretty well. There's moments that definitely don't hit Oh, well. no, yeah, you know, like, like, when, when it hits, it hits. Bro, can we talk, can we talk about that? Good. The moment that hit, um, when Kamiora and Fuse, they went huge, right? Uh-huh. He's wearing that. Goku pushed the the mouth beam back in his mouth. Dude, I don't even remember that, to be honest with you. Bro, he was... What episode was I that? I think he was in... I think he went in Ultra... I don't remember if it was like 14 or 15. But we we, we did it uh, when you were watching you here. You were here? We were reacting, yeah. Oh, so it was during that little marathon, that yeah, catch-up yeah. session. Okay. And yeah, he, Goku like... Goku literally just like grabbed like a Kamior and like just blew like a mouth beam at him. Goku just like grabbed and literally just like... Busted. That shit went straight back in his mouth. And we were like... Yeah, no, nah, that's tough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, like, it's stuff like that. It's crazy. Yeah, like, even, yo, even 
the the real test of how how good does it hit, right? That should be a good that's a good segment. How good does it hit, right? <laughs> is when you have brother Ooch as the test dummy. Okay, now <laughs> if it hits that man, then you did it right. Okay? Cuz it doesn't really take much. I mean, it does. Like you can't just throw anything out there. Like you mm-hmm. can't you can't give me like some fan made stuff of Super Saiyan 10 and being like, "No, stop." Like you Super got you got hair covering the entire frame like just enough's enough, right? But <clears throat> you could tell when something's really OD if that dude reacts. Like and he has any kind of like so the way brother Uch will react, he'll he'll either make a grunt noise, right? He'll <laughs> he'll start with a huh or whatever, something like that. He'll be like, hmm? like right, <laughs> just like a just like a character, right? <laughs> and then and then it's when he actually moves, like he, like he'll he'll perk up just like that. Yeah. For example, when we were at the Dragon Ball Super Broly premiere in New York City, this okay. was two weeks before the uh, it was out for the general public. Mm-hmm. Um. Shout out to Funimation, by the way. Um, there was the part where, oh, so, oh I, <laughs> this is one of the best parts of that film was when Goku was powering up. He was powering up to Blue, but he kind of like farted Ultra Instinct for yeah, like a yeah, yeah. split Bro, second. They, they did. They did us so dirty with that because they. They had like they had like the <laughs> green aura. They had like some red. They had ultra. They literally, yeah. He just, Dude. just white everything. We were like, sun, sun. <laughs> we were freaking out. As soon as, as soon as. What are they? They did the same shit with Vegeta. Nah, he, well, no, 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 no. He didn't go to ultra uh, no, 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 instinct. No, no, no. He, he didn't do the, the ultra instinct. But the first thing he started with, he started with like green. That lime green. Oh, yeah, like they just they teased us on both yeah, transformations, yeah, yeah. like. Oh yeah, yeah. That was, oh that was yeah, no, no, no. But when it, when when he flashed the Ultra Instinct, mm-hmm. now you saw that that white hair for it was a whole one Mississippi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it was a whole one. Like, it was like he was like uh, uh, Ultra Instinct back to blue, and I was like, yo, you, there was no way you could miss that. There was no, absolutely no, no way. Nobody in the whole, I, yeah, like when I went to see it in the theaters, everybody was screaming. They're like, "Oh!" <laughs> when <laughs> we the, yo, son, out of our chairs. When that happened, he grabbed me. <laughs> he literally, he, he grabbed my whole arm, son. He <laughs> was like, like, he was like, like straight up grab. It was like I felt like we were the only two in the theater that was like the only yo. ones like moving around, like animated as hell, yeah. like. That movie, like, I still hold that movie as, like, my favorite movie of all time. Like, Damn. especially for anime. For anime. I, I'm not even going to talk about Avengers because we all know that that, <laughs> that that movie is a god gift. But anyway, but yeah, once that happened, Brother Uch, dude, this, this kid was literally, he never does stuff like that. And when he does, that's how you know. Got him. G- yes, got him. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> oh, man, but... Yeah, that 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 movie. But yeah, so I said uh, about that green, the the, the lime green. green. Vegeta. Yeah, so a lot of people. I remember thinking back. A lot of the a lot of the thought process was people were like, "Oh yeah, this is like, this could be like an artist thing, like, like you know, like a." No, nah, it was literally just. Oh no! At all of us. Oh no! That's like. It, that's it, all it was. It's like one of those things where it's like, you could you could be one of those like analysts. And you can realize, like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes it's just like an art. Like, I forget the exact term, but it's like when an when an artist has a certain style or taste or, like, how they want to animate something, they might, like, do – they might change something up leading into something that's already mm-hmm. there. I don't know if I'm not making it in a lot of sense, but basically, if you, for those that don't know or haven't seen the movie yet, I don't know. What? Just watch the movie? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, the, dude. I, we could have a whole episode talking about Broly. That that film alone, right? Um, he goes so as 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 Vegeta's powering up Super Saiyan, he's his his hair is green first. His hair is green first. Now this is like probably like eight months, nine months, ten months late to talk about. It. I mean, everyone's already talked about it, but it's nice to go back and re-talk about certain things because as time goes on, you get more information 
from other things or new ideas and new theories that might come into play later on that weren't there before, you know? Yeah. So you could kind of like intertwine them. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so he went green. Now I remember back then I was saying like, oh, like this, that, like green might end up being like the true Super Saiyan because if Broly, if we're looking at Broly as like the dude, it could be. You know what I'm saying? It could be. It and could and, be. and peep, Goku was tapping into that too. He had a green aura. When he was when he was like when he was I would not that. I would not look too deep into that because just because I really think that was literally just them just like slapping us with some Dragon A choice? Ball, like, well yeah, probably. Yeah, but like, I mean like dude, the thing is I see what you're saying. The way I think of it is like whenever anything is made, I like I like what you say, he farted ultra instant. Yo, like, for a second, dude. It was like a <laughs> <laughs> Done. It was back quick. <laughs> it was a toot. He tooted instinct. <laughs> but look, look. So, how do I want to say this? Would you call that a shit and run? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Um, damn. I like. What the hell was I gonna say? Mm, okay. Yeah. 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 So like. With Goku, when he was doing it, and, like, he had the green aura, and, and like, that was another thing that people peeped, because it was, like, first Vegeta's hair goes green, now Goku's hair, Goku's aura is, like, kind of green. Mm -hmm. It's, like, hinting at, like, okay, like, maybe if they're tapping more into, like, their pure Saiyan, which we you would think they would have hit that by now. Yeah. After all the battles and years have gone by. Like, but Saiyans have no limits, so, like... That's the other side of it. Kind of seems that way, right? As yeah. long as they keep battling and they keep fighting and surviving the fights, they just get stronger with every fight that they have. Saiyans have no limits to the point where Frieza actually got some character development and is taking a back seat because he's like, I'm not trying to get bodied by these two. I'm going to wait. Yo, let's talk about Frieza for a sec. <laughs> let's get it. When do you think he's coming back? I'm gonna be honest. I don't want him to come back soon. Like, okay. I love Frieza. I love Frieza. Frieza is Frieza. Cool. Frieza's cold. <laughs> like that. Nobody got a cold laugh from that. Oh, they want a Kaikon cold. <laughs> but yeah, Frieza. Frieza's dope. Frieza's all kinds of good, like villainous character material. But I want Frieza to come back so soon because I just know he's gonna get his ass beat either way. I'm not really. I'm not ready to see that yet. Nobody ready to see that yet. He's not ready to have that yet. But I would actually like. I'm kind of, I'm kind of going, I'm kind of going with you on this one. I totally would like to see some platinum Frieza type shit. I would, I would really like that. I think that'd be awesome. But I don't want to see him charge back into the show, like just rush straight back into the show, rush at the Saiyans, and then you know get his ass written out from the show all over again. I don't want to see that. I want him to actually use his head. He knows he's evil. He might absolutely despise Goku more than anything in any universe, period. Uh -huh. But if he wants to live, he better have some type of some type of system to you know allow him to do whatever he wants and just not bother them until at least he thinks he's ready to pull up. Because he's seen Ultra Instinct, he's seen Vegeta, he's seen what they, what kind of limits they broke in 48 minutes. I'm pretty sure if, if they make him dumb enough to walk straight back into that hot mess with Broly and then Broly ends up like, you know, like switching sides because Goku's like, you don't have to do everything Frieza says, you know? And then, you know, Broly's just going to take that and just power up and just beat a nigga up for another hour again. Like, they did him so dirty in that movie <laughs> for no reason, just off screen beatings. That was horrible. So my next question. <laughs> Do you think Freeze is going to come back alone? I'm going to say no. Good. I'm going to absolutely say no. This is why you're here. You're an educated fan. <laughs> I've, been, with no. I've been saying this for the longest time. This is the perfect opportunity to introduce Cooler. Yo, you saw his eyes roll. You saw his eyes roll. <laughs> because, bro, because Cooler is, oh my God, like, I like, if Cooler had more content, I would like Cooler more than Frieza. 
like oh uh, yeah because yeah, like no, I, I yeah. like frieza more because now he has like he has more like lore he's got more of a story to tell he's kind of been around there for a long time but yes. cooler cooler no cooler. nah, nah. That's not that's not a question. Not not for me at least. In my personal opinion, cooler is too tough. Cooler is O oh, D. Like cooler in fighters is oh, disrespectful. Oh yeah, yeah. Every frame. I've never I've never seen what kind of what kind of finisher, like how hard you gotta be <laughs> to, to give a nigga a finisher that literally picks up the camera. It's just like Oh yeah. It just, oh yeah. Just threatens you, like nah. breaking the fourth wall. I was just like, damn. Uh-huh. Cooler got it. Like. Uh-huh. Listen, I've been saying this. I first of all, first and yeah, foremost, cooler. let me let, let me address. Like bro, I would love to see cool. Let me address cool. one thing at a time, as far as Frieza is concerned. Oh my god! I've been saying Platinum Frieza ever since the Tournament of Power. That stop. needs to happen first. Stop! If you, stop! That needs to happen. Okay, my man Frieza. Let, let let's just analyze the entirety of the situation okay. that we've been given as of. Dragon Ball Super Broly, right? Okay. So my man Frieza pulls up. He gets he gets lucky, stumbles upon you know Paragus and Broly, mm-hmm. adds him to the squad. He wants to see how strong they are because Paragus was hyping his son up. Cool, right? Then Frieza later on realizes like, wow, this monkey's actually OD. I'm gonna make good use of him. Yeah. Wrong. He thought right. Frieza ends up getting mopped by Broly, right? The funny thing is, <clears throat> and this is to really credit how godlike Frieza really is, my man took a straight hour and a half beating. Was it an hour and a half? I thought it was an hour. It was it was like an hour and change. Okay, okay. But okay. I've heard I've seen some people say hour and a half. At, but it's definitely at least an hour. That's fine. Yeah, at least an hour, if not more. Continue. Definitely that long he took a straight beating from Broly in Super Saiyan. Now, Broly Super Saiyan is not just every regular Super Saiyan. It, nice. it is like th- th- this dude was handling Goku and Vegeta in their god forms while he was still chilling in his base and his Ozaru, you know, Ozaru full power base, broken, yeah. whatever, right? So Frieza was holding his own. I mean, you could say he was holding his own, but realistically, like he was just withstanding the beating. And to to that's. Like, he didn't die, you know? Like, he could have been like anyone else because like, he just died, right? But nah, he was he had enough strength to withstand that said beating. He had enough strength to withstand the beating and not deplete his golden form. Because he didn't deplete his golden form until Gogeta grabbed his hand and was like, don't do it. He was like, I And he just, like, went down. And so then, so thank you for bringing that up. Gogeta comes in. Frieza then learns more about these monkeys that he learned hates so fusion. much. Learned about fusion. He and was he, like, what? That's not fair. And he learns about fusion. Yo, Fri- Dude, th- this is okay. So again, ready? So let let let's let's look at the equation so far. Okay, we have. You want to go this far? This, this oh, this is a full podcast, power podcast, baby. Food power. Okay, <laughs> we have Frieza. Get, like you know, this strength. You know, he's very strong. All right, we already know beforehand that if he actually trained, he actually cared. He oh, could right. he could continue like, to be growing. Man's like, dude, a prodigy. Who's who's to say like, that my man has more forms if he actually trained? He's to me, he kinda mirrors the Saiyans. If the Saiyans could keep fighting and get stronger, if Frieza just actually trains, look what he accomplished in four months in Resurrection F. Nah, I don't know. I'm not I don't know. I'm definitely like I'm not no Frieza fanboy. I definitely love. I love a lot of characters. I just love Dragon Ball. Okay, same. So just, just, same. I love Dragon Ball. It's all good and but fun. Like, it's great. Like Frieza. I feel like he don't he don't need other forms. He could get them. He don't need other forms. Yeah, no. But like it's like you said. Like if he trained, and it's not even just if he trained because now Dragon Ball is introducing like magic. Which is busted, because now we're now we're talking like, oh, not who who punches hard or who throws a better key blast. Now we're talking pure magic, which Frieza's been good at for a hella long. He's had his like telekinetic power, like you know, like he fucking earth bending, moving rocks and shit. Like he go earth blowing bending. up, <laughs> he go. Shouts <laughs> to the arrow man. <laughs> to the arrow um, man. Don't worry, I know who that is. But yeah, yeah. So um. Like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like they could give Frieza some magic. They could give him some like real like 
like mental like manipulation telekinetic any type of like any special ability so because like Vegeta's going to learn some out on his own you're going to tell me Frieza can't sit there on some piccolo shit and just meditate and just figure some shit out like now wait that? now hold on hold 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 all your thoughts so the equation right the strength the potential is what I wanted to get at. Is, oh, Frieza's is, potential is not... It's through the roof. It's not funny. If he actually cared and actually... And because now... Because here's the thing. I bring that up because... You could... Continue, continue. He brings that up because... I bring that up because he now is presented with an actuality, a realization that he can't really take these sayings lightly no more. Yes, but I like that. I like the fact that he's not so anger driven to the point where he's like, I'm going to kill that monkey. And he's just like charging in and just getting himself killed. Which is why that goes into the next part of the equation. And that is he left. And he said, when I return, mm -hmm. I will have my revenge. Right. He says something like along those mm -hmm. lines. Now, who's to say within any kind of character development. See, that, that's the beauty of it. Anything can happen. And I feel like if Vegeta can go from this villainous-esque character who was all about the Prince's Saiyans, he was next in line to be the king, yeah. blah, 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 to being a family man, to then taking, taking on other Saiyans from another universe under his wing, to to really being a, a a a great father, arguably better than Goku, that you know people like to throw out there for the memes, right? If if we could get a character like Vegeta, who's probably been the best, the like the best character to see any kind of character development in Dragon Ball, who's to say Frieza can't take those steps back and realize that maybe he shouldn't be so self-righteous and try to seek that revenge on his own. And who knows where he's going? Because for all we know, we are only now, only now just exploring the universe of Universe 7 in Dragon Ball. Dude, we've, think about it. We've never actually seen where Frieza comes from, where his planet, what's it I called. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine a whole race. His race. Like dude, dude yo, yo, they, got, they, got, they got King Cold. They have Frieza. Then in Universe 6, who they got? They got Frost. That, dude, that confirms for me. That's enough for me to believe that there, as, as big as a universe is, there has to be a planet with the race of Frieza. I have a question. I have a question for everybody. Please leave a leave a comment down below if you know the actual answer. I do not remember from the episode when real quick from the tournament of power talking about frost real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Man's got deleted, <laughs> right? <laughs> so man, man's got deleted, and all the universes were wished back. Was he in that bundle? Did we get to see that? I don't remember. I I feel like I feel like it would have yeah. been in the frame. I don't, was, I don't remember if he was there or not. Man, he was so embarrassed he got washed. They didn't want to draw him back there. Uh, nah, he... he <laughs> <laughs> Frieza didn't kill him. What? No, Zeno. Like, when Zeno erased him, and then, like, their whole universe got erased, and the Wish got brought the universe oh, yeah, back, yeah, no, did they bring Frost yeah, back? No. Like, I just... I don't remember. I don't they remember brought. seeing him in that little... Like, that little, you know, like, he area was, where they were. Yeah, he was, he was a part of the package. Yeah, okay. Yeah, when they... Like, he got to lead it all on his own. They were like, yo, you broke the rules. Ha! Mm-hmm. Pop! That's what I'm saying. Like, because think about it. Like, I guarantee you. See, okay, there's a lot. And this is, another, this is kind of like a transition, right? A lot of people make have been, have been making recently, especially. They've been resurfacing, and I've seen some new ones. Images that fans have been making of, like, an Avengers-esque, like, timeline of films and adaptations and side stories that would just be the drag like a bunch of dragon ball movies yep, like yep how dope would it be if we had a whole frieza backstory where he come from we his plan how much they want to like bring him back in like we they might as well give it to Dude, us because they they want him around or like dragon ball and frieza is such a popular character exactly. like that's why he was brought back in the first exactly place. so we need to know like we we should get to know why there aren't more because they're obviously a prodigal race that wasn't wiped out. And if they were wiped right. out, who wiped them out? Yeah. Because obviously See, it wasn't dude, no monkeys. You, like, you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, there, absolutely. There's so much they could they could dive into. Oh, my God. Please so man. much. Because think about it. If if that his planet was wiped. Right. Imagine. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe hold that's on. why. We got a. 
There we go. That was a little bloop right there. Anyway, but even like, 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 yo, let, let me ask you a question. All right. This is good. Oh, man. See, this is why we're doing this, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid. If, let's say, let's say Freeze's backstory, his, his race, like, let's say his race was like, you know, they had their own planet and it was destroyed. Who destroyed it? Imagine, and this is what this is what really gets you. Imagine if it was a Saiyan. I thought about that. Imagine if it was a monkey, and that's that. why he hates them so much. That's why. Like, I mean, it, it, it's it's kind of a stretch because then if you like look at it like a little bit more, like because the way he acts in like any 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 time like you know they're around or whatever, yeah. he doesn't really like. Like he went to you know he straight up went to, you know. Or you know what? Maybe uh, let me change that a little bit. Maybe it's not Frieza, but it's a f it's it's one of his fellow like Frieza race people. More chilled. <laughs> More chilled. <laughs> nah, he's he's too chubs. I don't like his design. He's he, too chubs. <laughs> he's, he's too chubs. Nah, nah, but like imagine if it was someone that like from like one of his predecessors. Frozen pizza. <laughs> and you stop. <laughs> Imagine if it was one of his predecessors that they had a reason why. Like it you know how like, you know, stories and legends get passed down yeah. from time to time, whatever. Like, if if you're in a clan and in your whole life all you heard was this race is bad, this race is they need to be destroyed, and that's kinda like what you like preemptively think. Yeah, yeah. What if it was like kinda like one of those things that got like passed down to King Cold and then like, you know, that's all Frieza heard around and blah blah blah. Which could explain why his attitude around them is just like he doesn't really care, but he's Frieza, so he's so strong he could just pew, pew, like you know destroy. But again, it's just a food for thought, wishful thinking kind of thing. Um, but point point is, I would love to see some kind of deeper lore at characters like this. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like their families and where they come from, and maybe some of the motivations behind like why they are the way that they are. Yeah. And more importantly, if Frieza does go back home from Broly, I'm talking about. Now I'm going back. So like going back to that that discussion, like if he le he's leaving, he's saying he's gonna come back. We don't know when. So he's gonna be off the screen for you know the foreseeable future for now, as far as we know. Because right now we're gonna talk about the current stuff. Moro being like this this whole galactic uh, patrol prison arc that's still going on right now, which is. By the way, probably the most fire arc they've had since the Tournament of Power. It's pretty... I mean, look, I know it was just a, an arc ago, but, like, think, <laughs> I, I want to say... Because I'm looking at all the arcs, and, like, as this is probably, like, my favorite one so far. Like, hands down, it's not even over yet. I got... No, nah, I... I really like I got a cert I I felt a certain type of way with that Goku Black arc because like that arc really hit me differently and not just because like he's my favorite character because he absolutely is but like that whole arc hit me differently because that was the first time Dragon Ball got dark like Dragon Ball is so right. like like I mean they've done like you know like things like kill people off and whatever but like death don't mean death don't mean nothing in Dragon Ball number absolutely one. not yeah it don't mean What's nothing death? in Dragon Ball but it's just a different place to train so <laughs> that's all it is you just Yo, go train yeah, somewhere else yeah, like true. oh okay that's true but nah i just that like the moral arc is doing so well but like goku black so cold and so strong that they didn't even beat him in the series they control all deleted mans like they just like nobody in the show beat Black. Like you want to talk about Zamasu, you want to talk about Fuse Zamasu. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Black right now. I'm talking about the man who literally ripped a hole and he don't even know what, and just manhandled two Super Saiyan Blues and said, "Oh, by the way, your instant transmission's cut off," <laughs> and that's it, the end. And he just just slapped him. So like I'm talking about that because like he didn't he didn't lose a fight. He got written out like. Yeah. He got fourth walled out of the show. So, like, if Moro has a proper ending, I'd probably say that it has a better arc because that... <sighs> Dude, this arc is ridiculous. That was not okay. And I just... I want a legitimate ending. I want to see somebody... I want to see somebody win with a valid reason. I don't want Zeno to pop in and just make things disappear. That's yeah. so, like... I feel like... I feel like... 
Goku Black was a sacrifice to show off that power because he was just like he didn't even just delete him. He was like, "Oh, I don't need a world like this." They were like, "Wait, world, run!" <laughs> they were like, like, "That's it, we out." Yeah, yeah, no, that's <clears throat> that's true. And like, and yeah, Moro is Moro is different. Like speaking like, speaking on the that the Zamasu Goku Black Future Trunks arc. Like, I at one point like back when it was going on like. Dude, trust me, like, that arc has a special place in my heart, too, because, dude, like, before Broly became Akira's new baby, <laughs> Trunks was my favorite character. Mm -hmm. Like, like, only until Akira Toriyama said, this is my Broly, that basically, and I hate to use this word, it canonized him. It added <laughs> him into Akira Toriyama's, you know, mainline continuity. Yeah. As soon as that happened... Trunks got booted down to second because I already loved original Broly, the classic Broly. I already yes. loved that Broly for yes. for what he was, not not because like like I have my I, like see my 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 relationship with Broly is that I I am very much aware of all his cons and there's a lot of cons. I did a whole freaking panel about it. I I explained. All the good, all the bad. And that bad list was longer. All right, hold up, hold up. What's your what's your favorite line from old Broly? He didn't have many, but... Okay, I got you. Ready? This one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that was my... That, was, that line was OD. I'm done with this, man. <laughs> Dude, he didn't, have, he didn't have that many lines. Like... He had lines. I, I remember he had, he did have some dialogue, but like, do you do you watch it with like? Oh, that's that's another topic I wanna I wanna like segue into real quick is talking about the dubbed version, right? So like the English dubbed version of things like, okay, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. I mean, yeah, like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT. Uh, I know, relax. And then oh no, we're gonna talk about like, some GT on oh, this show. Yeah, we will. And then we're gonna talk about some of like the old movies, like the Broly movies. There were like. There's two different like English dubs, or I mean, there might even be more. I don't even know, but you know what I'm talking about, like uh, music-wise. Uh, like, bro, like I didn't always see the same stuff that like a lot of people saw, because I would see stuff and I would hear the music and I'd be like, no, so I don't think that's it. You're like, talking about like the Ocean dub versus like the Funimation dub, because Ocean I dub is so. that's the Canadian version, and they do have a different. They use, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they do use a different. Um, V uh, background music track uh -huh. then like i think they stick to the japanese i think because me per me personally i don't even remember it that much because i have to play something real quick i mean you, so could, I can, like, show you? you could yeah you because like to be honest like i and <clears throat> do, do it for like a few seconds yeah of course, we're not because, trying to no, get I'm cut no nah, don't worry about that yeah um because it's honestly honest to god guys like the last time i saw ocean dub Dragon Ball Z was like when it was on TV. I was probably like five or six years old. And this was when it was playing like at 6.30 in the morning. So. I right, go ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just talking about like, this is like like the old Broly. I don't know if you want to call it his theme. I guess you kind of could, but like. From, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Also, oh, you're talking about the Broly yeah. films. Yeah, like the old Broly films. Uh -huh. Yeah, because like yeah. even, even in those films, like when I tried to like, you know, just rewatch them out of nostalgic purpose. Yeah. I have them on DVD. So and, do I. Yeah, and that's the one that I, you know, like that I really like. But um, I just didn't have the DVD at the time. I just kind of like loaded up a website or whatever yeah. and tried to watch it. And I noticed that the music was different. And like stuff like that happens with Dragon Ball Z. I don't get the Bruce Falconer that I need. I really like that. Yo, stuff that we're going to talk about Bruce. Yeah. We're going to talk about some Bruce. We need to come back to that because that would really hurt. But uh -huh. yeah, this is, I'm talking about like this. Pause it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. I don't. I only needed to hear the right? first note. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like the, okay. that music's so cold. Like that whole like everything they did in that. I feel like well, this I'm throwing you in there with me. I feel like we are a part of a very small minority when it comes to this topic. And that topic, really? yes. And this topic is the appreciation and the love for like our music tracks mm -hmm. for these movies and you know oh, the yeah. episodes because i will tell you right now i loved those uh those soundtracks for the 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 english dub Ooh. for broly yeah broly one and broly two had the best score bro 
the best one. They I forget the band. No, the the for Broly Two, the band was like uh Ion yeah, it's like Ion or something like Ion Deeper or something like that. There were a couple different bands on there. No, 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 no. But like the main with the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that John oh, is fire. Oh my god! But this yeah, the one you just played from oh. Broly One. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> bro, this is so tough, dude. That like the build up and like and and yo, like that was what I grew up with. Yeah, same. Bro, all right, quick story time. I was, how old was I? 11, 10? Probably like 11. Nah, I'll say 10, give or take. And this was when Blockbuster was still a big thing back mm -hmm. in the Diz, right? Papa Ooch took your boy on a weekend out to Blockbuster. We're out here looking for something new to watch. And this is, of course, during a time period where there was really, at, well, no, there was no streaming services. Um, Netflix was delivery it wasn't, you know, you don't load it up on a browser or anything like that. So the thing to do was you were either buying the DVDs or you were collecting or like or you were renting them. Right. So we would go to Blockbuster on a weekend out in uh, New York because I used to go to like Queens all the time back in the day to like, you know, chill with my grandma and my dad. And uh, we'd go to Blockbuster and we'd directly hit the anime section that was our section of <laughs> course right that yeah. like that dude that anime section is literally how i discovered a lot of the stuff that i'm i'm into like now like fist of the north star like that that was off a, of a whim i don't know if you ever heard of fist I of the north star have. i have oh my god fire yeah. anyway i looked <clears throat> as soon i was always i'm always looking for new dragon ball z stuff just because i'm a kid Same. dragon yep. ball z yep. it's a thing you know whatever i go there i pick up this dvd and it says the legendary super saiyan Broly. It's this big ass freaking Saiyan Brolic. I'm pretty sure that's where they got the word from. Cause I never heard of the word Brolic before Broly. <laughs> I feel like the word <laughs> Brolic comes from Broly. Broly's so tough he invented. He, he invented, invented a word, brolic, son. Like. <laughs> Yo, well, that's fact. Anyway, so I look at him and I, it's just like love at first sight. Yeah, you just see that and you're like, I look I at the that. case, bro, and I was like, Dad, we need to watch this. Yeah. And he was like, what's that? I'm like, yo, it's a Dragon Ball Z movie, Legendary Super Saiyan. And he was like, oh, all right, let's get that. It's swiped, right? Swiped, <laughs> right? So we grabbed it, took it home, watched it, loved it. Now, content-wise, even especially as a kid, some things didn't really kind of make sense. Mm. Like, and this is the honesty of it. Like, the way they defeated this guy <laughs> was kind of dumb. Like, they all put what little energy they had left into Goku. He gives him the One Punch Man treatment, and he gets blasted away like <laughs> Team Rocket that. into the freaking sun. Is that is that what happened? You're foul for that. I'm foul for that? You're foul for that. I'm being real. <laughs> I'm being completely real right now. Look, I am the Broly Man. Let's get that one straight. I <laughs> but I am, look, but I am not. Oh, you lucky I didn't pull up in my, I would transform on your ass. <laughs> I got my cap support. Sure yeah, sure but listen. I'm not going to front, and I'm not going to be like, oh, he's the f most flawless character ever. Hell oh, no. Oh, no, bro. N new Broly looking like... We're not talking about that one. That Oh, that Broly is perfection. <laughs> okay. But this, the classic one... Okay, yeah, the classic one. They, he had a lot of things that didn't make sense about him. That's true. The big one. Why he crying? <laughs> like, think about it. Like... People have, that has been one of the most discussed things, and I addressed this in my panel. For those that don't know when I'm talking about my panel, I did a panel, I had the, the, the honor of doing a whole panel, my first panel ever I've ever done at KamehaCon 2 this year, um, 2019, uh, over in Texas, and full room, everyone actually came out. It was like, oh, it was like 60 plus wow. people. It was sick. It was like they all came out to listen to your boy talk about Broly. And it was, was lit. it was literally like, it wasn't even just to talk about Broly. It was like, I was trying to make a point. And my point was that Broly is like the personification of what it is to have hope and like about the possibilities of anything happening, like really being endless. Like, you, like as long as there's a will and there's like, you know, there's, there's enough as support there's behind will, it. And there's some S cells. You got it. Mm, right. <laughs> but, but yeah, like. That was one of the things that I addressed right at the beginning. And it was kind of like one of those things, like an icebreaker kind of thing. It was mm -hmm. just like a, a like a little joke that I decided to throw in there. So I was just like, I was like, here's one of the cons about the version of Broly. 
Why are you crying? It's facts though. Straight because up. it was never it was never actually explained anything like And and that was one of the things that Akira Toriyama did so well and that wasn't even there in this new one, which was brilliant. He literally even he even said it in his little note to us, like right when they revealed the news, which I'll never forget that day, by the way, uh, that, you know, he, he said he watched the original films and then yeah, he, he made his own tweaks and whatnot. Yeah. And now this is his version of the character. And this is it couldn't have done, it couldn't have been done better, to be honest. Like, I'm completely satisfied. Give with this us character. cooler next. Give us oh, cooler. oh, cooler, Give cooler. cooler. Bro, cool, cool is happening. I need it. If, if you know what? And you, y'all can thank Broly for that because he's the he made history. He's the first character. I'll never forget what you said about Broly. The man's green. He makes green. <laughs> yes. Facts. <laughs> never forget what you said that. Dude, the man's green. They he make green. green. <laughs> okay. It's and I stand simple. by that. Because think about it. Oh, and I, I, I feel like I've said this a million times. You guys have heard me say it a million times. But like this, hopefully this is the last time. My man has literally been on so many different... They've been reusing him. And I'm saying him, w- including the classic Broly. Like, for what reason? Well, because the character is that popular. He's popular over in Japan. He's popular here, too. And what do you do when you have something popular? Well, you want to keep monopolizing it. You want to keep making that green. My man is green. That's why his hair is probably green. He's making, making so got much damn freaking money. The freaking, the, the yen just freaking got infused with the, you know, whatever. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. My man, my, Broly made history. And he, and I feel like he is a great, a great, uh, like, um, he's the great big first step towards getting other, other characters. Yeah, yeah, of course. That haven't been done by you know, Akira Toriyama. You know what like everybody's that. been doing? It's not like taking this like all, just off of Dragon Ball for a moment. Like this is what everybody's doing now. Like remastered games, reboots of old stuff, like yeah. canonizing stuff. Just like they want the money. I mean, you, you bring cool. You're going to get the money. You're going to see all the money. Like bring it. I dare you. Bring it. In my, in my panel. Give us cool. <laughs> at the end, I literally said this too. I was like, I was like, you know, during my like final closing statements, I said like, you know, even like so what you can take away from this is that, you know, when you have all of this actual evidence behind something being as popular as it is, as long as people are loud enough about it and they show that they care and they love it, then anything is possible. And I believe that because of this, they're they are now more likely to give other characters that might may not be as popular but still have popularity behind them and revisit them to bring them into the main continuity of dragon ball that we know it and it's only it's literally just only going to make more people happy yeah like i remember there was even rumors about them like potentially bringing cell back and i'm just like look i don't think i think that's kind of od i think it's od in the sense that it's a stretch if if they really go out of their way to bring Cell back, just to say that they brought him back, because well, we still got Majin Buu, they brought Frieza. Why Pause. don't they bring Cell? Pause. That curveball, that curveball of the tournament of power, and just giving us that whole intro and everything, and showing us who's gonna be in the tournament, and then they literally like with Buu. You know what they did to Buu? They were like. Oh, we got Frieza fans? Oh, okay, we got Frieza fans. All right, well, we just gonna, we just going to take Boo. Yo! I hit him with the yeet. Yeet. Hit him with that yeet card. Damn. Got rid of his ass. Like, put him, <laughs> literally put man's back to sleep. Just put him in the dirt. Like. Put him in the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, he, like, it was crazy because I really was looking forward to seeing Majin Boo and his, like, new, like, beast yeah, muscle right? like, form. Yeah, he could have done, like. Yo, imagine how many imagine how many people he could have turned to jawbreakers and then just like rolled them off stage. That's true. He could have literally turned everyone into chocolate. And yeah, like you know what? That is a, that is that is right? that is pr- me. Well, I don't pr- I don't think they thought that through, but realistically, Boo could have been the whole reason preventing Ultra Boo? Instinct. Because he could have just turned you into chocolate. 
Uh, nah, I think I think Jiren would have been beyond that chocolate shit. I don't think that unless yeah, like to happen. Jiren just dodges it. Or whatever. They wouldn't have yeah. allowed it. No, his energy would have like his. He would have just like like it would have just stopped in his face. Okay, or something, like, facts. That's true. And that would have been it. And he would have been like ah! and like <laughs> and that would have been it. But like Boo, Boo could have won that. Boo could have yo. <laughs> I dropped the mic. <laughs> Because I, I, I thought of my, like my brain just like trailed off for a moment. That like, happens a lot when we talk about Dragon Ball, yeah. Like, Boo could have won that for the fact that when he splits himself, like you, like Destructo Disc, for example, right? You Destructo Disc uh, man's in yeah, half. Now yeah. he just sees just two boos. If he feels like it, he's just two boos. Mm -hmm. You knock man's off. He could have left his ponytail back like on the stage or something and nobody could have seen that and everybody could have been like oh boo's eliminated nope but you got this little little, little boo droplet sitting there like these with these other miniature guys that we couldn't even see you know what i'm talking about and, like, he could have he could have won it like that and then he could have made some dumbass wish like all the candy in the world and then they all would have been destroyed they so... would have been destroyed so boo definitely stay asleep <laughs> Stay asleep. Maybe Don't. they thought of that. That's why they in put an, him to sleep. In, yeah, in, in another universe, another timeline that would have happened. But yeah, I thought of, I thought about like Boo, like you know, before Frieza got introduced, because that that threw me like oh, yeah. so far off. But like I was thinking about how Boo could you know like could turn up in the tournament, like. So yo, I got a question. Aside, uh, uh, like transitioning from. Uh, okay. Did you see? Oh no, you obviously you read the new chapter, it's chapter yeah. fifty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You saw how Gohan was uh, delivering some bus ass a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I saw some frames where like he was, he's always like doing shit like his dad. Like when he went like that, like behind the back or whatever. Like that's what Goku was doing to Kefla. Just like messing yes. with like, Yes. Like, I love stuff, stuff like, like that. that. Yeah. So. I saw, you know what I saw in the panel? Like when Gohan was um, messing up the giant 7-3 is his name, right? Yeah. When he was messing up the, the giant form of 7-3. He did like you know he's just doing a bunch of like rush punches and kicks just like flying all around him like a like a like a buzz like a bee or fly or whatever and he goes up and delivers like a kick in the face or whatever. To me, that kind of looked like that kind of looked like I don't know who used it first, but it looked like some something that Goku did to like uh, Kamiora in, in Heroes. Like, when he was messing around with oh, them, because I saw some very similar, yeah. like, flight type of, like, you know, flight buzzard patterns. wasp type okay. attacks. And I was like, okay. oh, okay, like, maybe. But, okay, I see that. But yeah, what were you going to... So, yeah, so, I was going to ask, do you remember the part where Piccolo, like, changes Gohan's suit for him? Dude, they need to keep that. They need to keep it just like that in the anime, or I'm going to be tight. <laughs> Did you see the part where... <laughs> oh my Ooh, God. Did you see the part where he changed his hair too? Wait, what? There's a someone someone redrew that scene. Oh, I saw you post that. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you post that on Instagram with, with the kid going with the like, dude. The they gave him his hair. old bowl cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. I died when I saw that. I instantly posted it on all my social media. I was like, "You guys." I saw you post that. <laughs> Like, like what is this? whoever whoever redrew that or just like photoshopped it or whatever yeah. is a genius. I thought that was hilarious beyond belief. <laughs> Give him this old bulk guy. Yeah, like that was such a that that just added to the joke. Like like you know Piccolo, he's fighting with Piccolo. Piccolo changes what? into like their matching outfits, which I'm sure was probably both purple. And then bam, he goes from That's his right. current haircut to his classic bulk cut from back in the Z days, like when they were on Namek and all that stuff. I'm trying to find. Uh, what are you trying to find? Yeah, this was supposedly this is from Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm pretty sure this is true. I just don't remember reading it myself, right? Uh, Dad, you're here, and so. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> fake. That is <laughs> so fake. Someone <laughs> that, straight up photoshopped just, that. I mean, nah. He could have just like. Nah. I mean, nah. Yeah. That dude. Anything. I know, I know, I know what you mean. No, like, that's just... it's it's funny. That's funny. It's... <laughs> but anything that has any that that has I Gohan know. saying like "dad" to Piccolo, dad. yeah, yeah, I know, is fake. I know. It was just it was. I had no, no, no. That's funny. That as hell. Was... That's hilarious. Cause... 
<laughs> like th- th- to this day, people joke about that. Of course. Like, have you seen facts though? Have you seen the memes of people like like they they post something and they say, "I'm gonna tell my kids that this is," and it's like a complete lie, like it's something else. Mm-hmm. So someone literally said, "I'm gonna tell my kids that this is Gohan's dad," and it was a picture of Piccolo. Like, yeah, you know, I've seen I've seen the like one that. where you know where they like. They put whoever's face on. It's like the dude with like some like whipped cream or whatever waiting at the door. Like, huh? Wait, I'm gonna prank my dad when he gets home or whatever, right? I seen that with Gohan, and it was uh, it was captioned like, "Gonna prank my dad when he's done training." And he was just like, <laughs> he's just waiting at the door. <laughs> That's oh yeah yeah. Speaking yo, speaking of training. All right, so hopping right back into it. So we didn't get to see Vegeta last chapter. I want to talk a little bit more about that uh, with you. So yeah, that's okay. I think off off the review that we did. I'm cool with being surprised about his attacks. I, I, I yo, think, I know. I'm going to be completely honest, though. I don't think he's going to get the attacks that like we got previewed by the Yard Rats. By the, by the, no, no. He's, he's going to have some new-ish we've never yeah, seen. Yeah, exactly. He's going to have Guaranteed. some completely new thing we haven't seen before. Like, but still, with that aside, he can come back with all these new powers. I don't care how many he has. I don't care how good, bad they are. But man's got to learn. All, uh, oh, my God. Kill me. Man's got <laughs> <laughs> Man's gotta learn it's the transmission because it's just too convenient. I'm just like I feel yeah, like they just yeah. need to give it to him and especially like he don't like holding hands, shoulders, he don't like nothing about Kakarot. I'll do okay? it myself. Exactly. So just I'll bet you he gonna be so cold he's not even gonna put his fingers on his forehead. He gonna give Goku the death stare like and he's gonna leave. Like <laughs> Yo Imagine? Nah nah nah. That's funny. But yeah, yeah. I said this to you especially. We we mentioned this. Yeah, at one point. I was like, dude, he's going to... He can get a bunch of attacks. I just want him to get instant transmission too. He's going to have instant transmission as the package deal from whatever the hell I else would, he's I learning. would hope so. Like, that's going to be... that that like. And so in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, Vegeta's new slew of abilities will comprise of the stuff we don't know, instant mm-hmm. transmission, and something crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Instant transmission is probably going to be one of those things that we see him using first... So that way it's out of the way. And people like are I like, so. oh my God, like Vegeta knows how to do his transmission. It's great. And then like he whips out all the stuff Goku does not know how to do. I'd be hyped because I get to get instant transmission with Vegeta in games. Like, ooh, 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 oh, but ooh, yo, ooh. you want to like, know what would be such a, a slap in the face that I could definitely see them doing as well? Huh. So let's say Vegeta does learn all these new moves we've never seen him yeah. do before. Now... We'd imagine at some point Goku and Vegeta are going to be fighting again alongside each other, right? I'm going to be so tight if they undermine this man's training by having Goku simply going, Oh, I know how to do that too. And he just didn't even think to do it. Speechless. It's not out of the realm of possibility. It is completely not, not out of the realm. It's not. Because I could totally see Goku doing some stuff like that. Absolutely. He's like, oh, Vegeta, you know how to do that? I do too. Kakarot, you, why don't you bring you, it to that from before? Can you, can you imagine the look on Goku's face? Because talking Dragon Ball, uh-huh. Vegeta goes first just to get his ass beat so Goku can get a view on the situation then just beat their ass. That's how it goes. So... Figuring Vegeta, because Vegeta's not one to wait in line at number one. And number two, like, I don't even need number two. He's not waiting in line. So, <laughs> so, He's cutting. <laughs> exactly. He is cutting. So, like, so, like he, he cut me off. So, I think I think that, like, they can't, it's like you said, they can't undermine Vegeta's training. Like, he needs to come. He needs to bring the heat with him. Oh, okay? Like, he fire. really needs to. Like, Goku, Goku got his, Goku literally got his heat. Like, Vegeta needs some heat. So, yeah. I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, he better come back with, like, this power and that power. And I was, like, thinking of different stuff he could do. And I was like, imagine the look on Goku's face when he sees Vegeta pull up with some new, like, techniques. And the very first time he sees Vegeta with a new technique, Goku's like, "Mm mm-hmm. And he just, like, zooms in because he's going to think about it like, wait, hey, Vegeta, did you go to shut up? Yeah. (laughs) Now, all right. Now, he, now check this out. Like, he can't possibly picture Vegeta standing on that pole for like 180, 150 days or whatever that was. You know what I mean? And that's like, crazy. Like, respect. Dude, the world of anime is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I can't even imagine standing on one foot for freaking 15 seconds as it is right now. I mean, okay, that's an exaggeration. But still, <laughs> look, my man's like on like a stick. Like, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, but... 
so all right so here's another thought that i had about this whole like scene scenario i guess we could call it like with vegeta and goku there's you know we, we they're gonna fight moro they're gonna somehow defeat this guy now the one question that i have how and that's what everyone's asking how they're gonna do it and to me even if they learn all this new stuff right and they're trying they're powering up and they're using their energy because that's what you do when you oh, hold on there we go because that's what you do when you fight you exert energy my thing is this like they can still get their energy drained so i i'm almost inclined yeah. to believe that maybe one of the abilities <gasps> that vegeta learns is something to prevent that that'd be really cool because can like, you imagine moral like sucking energy out of the planet and vegeta puts like a yo he pulls like some vegeto shit he puts up like that little like force field or whatever like nah you can't break through this and then he just starts beating down yeah like him. an energy barrier yeah exactly like he a would. like a barrier like a perfected barrier not even not on some cell shit but like the perfected barrier so that nothing goes in or out kind of look like, like 17 what kind of look like 17's barrier like looks like it not acts like it but like no nah, like i feel like it would have to be i feel like it wouldn't be a sphere type thing because i feel like that'd be weird i feel like it'd have to be like the like what they did to prevent against the poison determinant power like that one inch of like like layering yeah. like aura layering yeah but see dude like that's the thing like because even with know. even because to me even to me <clears throat> if you have goku in his ultra instinct versus moro to me, I still feel like you can still get that energy drained. Like, simple as that. You might be a little That's faster. True. You might be you might be out, able to outspeed him to get the hits in and to end it quick. That's probably a thing to consider. But I'm always thinking of it as like, yo, Moro can still take their energy away. Right? Like, that's how I see it. Even though Ultra Instinct is not considered a power-up, it's more of a technique than anything else. Similar to like Kaioken, I guess. But... I everyone looks at it like that is the be all end all form like and that's how it should be Thank there you. should Thank never you. ever ever be anything beyond ultra instinct which is why I hope they're transitioning into, into introducing like magical type stuff so and, that they can find new ways around stuff and, without introducing a new form above ultra instinct and then then kokoro hikare te gu i'm gonna freaking talk about gt now because you want that super saiyan 4 <laughs> don't you freaking lie to me because i'm gonna call you something that rhymes with four but i'm not because i'm not mean like that anyway new forms super saiyan 4 coming back in once again but i never I, yeah i got i better never see anything Go beyond Ultra Instinct because yo, I remember when I when when I learned how like heat works with flames. You know the hottest flame is white. Yeah, of course. They're ne they're better never be in like like if if they do do green right if they do the Super Saiyan green, and that's like the the Broly color right. That's like like I think a flame could be green, but like it. The point is, white is the strongest one, and they better never go beyond that. Like, they could go to all these other colors. I don't care. They already have red. They got blue. They could go purple and orange for all I care. I, it doesn't matter. I, that would kind of be ridiculous, but don't do it. That I feel like if you're ever going to have a different color hair for Super Saiyan, it should kind of be this, a similar situation to the uh, Super Saiyan Rose, mm -hmm. where it's like it's a character-specific... And yeah, only. like Broly's, like Broly's is specific to like the legendary, or like at least the Berserk saying. He got a tinted then, you know, green Rose type was, thing. Like, the God saying, like Ro the, Ro the the God saying. I feel like that's you know what I mean. Like that's the yeah. best way you could probably put it, because like he was a god that stole a Saiyan's body. But yeah, no, exactly. Because <laughs> that's crazy. And like for some reason it it went pink, but no one complained because it was it was fire. Like, I thought it was dope. I wish, I mean, like, that's the one thing I kind of, I wish they didn't do. Like, his original normal forms, like, black and, like, like evil, like, dark purple, like, aura. They should have kept that. Like, that would have been. Purple like, hair? Yeah, like, a, Ooh, a Super, like a super that, Saiyan purple like that. That would have been That would have been tough. 
tough. That literally would have been tough. Like, Pur- oh purple's a good color to do. Absolutely. Like, you can know you imagine like Super Saiyan purple like that? Like a like a deep like a like. Do you know? Do you know how I know that would work? Because, just imagine. But he can't have that form because that's my form. Just imagine go tanks base form go tanks. You know how you got the purple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now just fill in the rest <laughs> of the black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can picture it. That'd be cool though. I could definitely picture it. That would have been yeah. I thought I thought that that would have looked nicer, but that's okay. Super Saiyan Rose is just is, oh my god. He got it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He okay. earned I was it. just making sure that the freaking now you good. The screen was not off. But anyway, um, there's something else I wanted to bring up. Oh yeah, GT. Let's talk about GT. Let's talk about a little bit, a little bit of GT. Oh wait, real quick, real quick. Before we before we fully transition to GT, I was talking about. Uh, I mentioned before, <laughs> way before, because you know, full power. We really just went in. Yeah. But um, yeah. I was talking about things like like the two different like dub types. Of, oh type yeah, of okay, stuff, that's right? all, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, we were yeah. talking about like uh, how the movies had like different dubs, whatever. Not like voice wise, but like music wise, like musically yeah. they were different music dubs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the actual term is, so excuse me. But um, talking about that and talking about Z with the Bruce Falconer. I'm not okay with watching it without that music. Like, it's not, it's not, like, if you're going to watch it, if you're going to watch it subbed, okay, that's one thing. You know, but, like, for me, like, as a kid, like, growing up on that, like, I grew up on Dragon Ball everything. Like, the games, the manga, like, I was drawing, the, like, <laughs> like, I breathe Dragon Ball, okay? Like, that's just how it goes, so. Da, 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 da. Dude! <laughs> you can't tell me! <laughs> None of y'all can sit there watching this, listening to this. And how how can you how can you watch Vegeta charge a final flash at Cell Ooh. and not hear the gong? Doom, doom, doom. That that song was fire. All of the tracks. Well, some were better than others though. Oh, I'm sorry, I got them mixed up. That was fire too. Oh my god, like. <gasps> oh man, see now, now, now I'm hearing that, and I'm hearing him yeah, going. Right, right. Ah! Exactly, like this one time, like you hear the music and you're triggered, like you know, like or like Super Saiyan three is like da 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 da. Listen, like that song. That's like is, that music was that that made it so much bro, more Dragon Ball. That song is untouchable. And GT is like that too. I don't know who wrote the music for it, but there's two different English dub for GTs for the musics. Yes. Really? Yes. I've only watched was, the original DVD line. Like what was on TV and then what came out on DVD is only what only versions I've really seen. I've seen like episodes here and there, the Japanese version just to like check it out and like to hear what the Japanese song was all about. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, cuz like I'm pretty sure like one of the two one of the two like music versions that I'm talking about is the Japanese version and like that's just what it was. But that's excuse me, that's not what I listen to like watching GT on like Toonami back then. Dude, that was so it like, was like the rap. It was like the yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I love that, man. I, I know a lot. See, like I said before, we are among the very small minority that like that those versions. But I'm telling, like, I went to. It was, I think it was like I think it was yesterday. Actually, I was just trying to you know watch some watch some GT, and um, I knew this would happen to me with Z all the time. I couldn't find like a proper place like watch the Z that I wanted to, and I wanted to watch GT, and I was watching uh. I think I was watching a Super 17 episode and I heard the music and I was like, was it? I was like, yeah, it's my bit. No, I might not have been there. And I kept looking at like other websites and other websites and eventually I found it. And the moment I clicked on the episode, I was like, oh, oh, that's it. This is it. Like, save. Like, <laughs> like yeah. bro, like you just heard the, like you just heard like the intro music was different and you knew. Well, yeah, like that, like everything like i don't know like that music was just iconic to me it like, just it just comes down to like what you what you grew up with you know that's like true. that's literally like that's true that's true cuz the, the the funny part about the fandom of dragon ball is that we're literally uh, like all split. sorts of ages like you have older Super fans split. like dude like geekdom's like 4 to 40s pretty old like he i'm not going to call him an old man but like like just to give you a perspective like there are people that are within his generation or age group, right? That are like they're like they're not way older than I am, but like I'm 26, right? And like, you know, they like there's there's people out there that are like well into their 30s and pushing 40s and whatnot that are Dragon Ball enthusiasts, fans, super fans, whatever you want to call them. That when they watched it, 
they watched it at an earlier time. They watched it when it was more fresh. Like even when, even though when I was like five, six years old watching it on TV, like what I can remember is different. Like even though back then, when I when I heard the ocean dub, like I remember mm-hmm. hearing Goku sounding differently, and that's because it wasn't Sean Shemmel back in the day. But then one day I remember coming home from school and putting on an episode of Tsunami, and everything was different. And like, yeah. but it wasn't one of those things where. I could really go look online and figure out like why does it sound different? I kind of just like it's like the whole Fresh Prince uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air situation. On Viv, one day she was <laughs> dark chocolate, the next episode she was yeah, as light yeah. as I was, and I was like, "Who is this character?" Was I'm she like, gonna pretend like we don't see this? Yeah, like, like who? Like what did they? <laughs> yeah. What did they do to Aunt Viv? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's like a similar situation and. And and you ca- you kind of just like as as someone that was obviously a fan of anime before even re- like dude I didn't even know that this classified as anime I didn't learn what anime was like the term of anime until I was in like the seventh grade when I was watching Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh yeah I didn't I didn't know all anime. those shows I Monster that, Rancher I didn't know anime. dude I was <laughs> watching all these Johns and. I just looked at those as like cartoons. Exactly. But, like but that's, that's what they are though. They're Japanese cartoons. And they were cartoons. on Cartoon Network and they were just there at night and it was right. just there and we we're like, all right, lit. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Digimon got to throw that in there too. But like, you know, like when, when, when you're, when you're growing up watching this kind of stuff, you watch it for what it is and like you keep watching it because you love it. Yep. So like when they change up stuff or they're rerunning the same freaking episodes over and over and over and over and over again, you sit through it all. Like, yep. I will never forget during that time. It was such a hard, like, as a kid, dude, thank God I had Power Rangers because, oh, my God. I I couldn't stand, like, getting up to a certain point in the story. Like, they were on, they were on Namek, and next, next, the next day, they were back fighting Raditz. I was like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? I, and, then, and then as a fan, you're, like, trying even... to make sense of it. Like, oh, maybe, like, no. <laughs> there's no maybe. There's there's he didn't come back. They're replaying the episodes. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah, happened. Yeah. And then, but like fast forward, then when we when we get to the point where like when the memory is really prominent, like I'm talking like the Boo arc, the freaking tournament with Gray Sandman, Spopovich, all those yep. dudes. That was when I started to really remember things and like remember how things sounded and looked and. I'll never forget my one of my favorite episodes of all time. This episode legitimately changed my life. Was when <laughs> Goku taught, or not even taught, but he showed up, fought Fat Boo, and showed him what Super Saiyan 3 was. I was a changed individual on that day. I don't remember how old I was exactly, but I was very young. And, and I watched it on TV as it aired, and I thought it was... Like the coolest, it, I think it adds to my love for long hair. To be honest, because <laughs> at, like there's many other reasons. Like I'm a big wrestling fan, so like I love the Hardy Boys and stuff like that. There's like those are like the like the first start of why I like dig long hair, right? But when Goku went freaking Super Saiyan three had the long, whew, I was I, it was done for me. I was over at that point. I was like, I've seen the greatest thing of all time. Don't clip the eyebrows. <laughs> Didn't even matter. He had no eyebrows. <laughs> Didn't even matter. At back then, I just thought that was probably, uh, dude. At that point really in time, really, really tough. out of all the other things that I was watching, that was the toughest thing I was ever seeing. At that point, like I'm thinking, like what did what did I have back then? I had Pokemon, I had Digimon, I had like, like what was I watching? Like Power Rangers, like dude, Digimon. They had the the evolutions and stuff like that. Yeah. But dude, when Goku went Super Saiyan three. It, and and what what amplified that moment was Bruce Faulkner's track, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like stuff like that. Like we're exposed to like that type of Dragon Ball, and like that music just puts you like that music for me. Like watching Dragon Ball as a kid, especially like whether it was repeated or whether it was for the first time, hearing that music in the right moments like that, it took me from watching a show as a kid to just cutting out everything else in my in my view and it was just only the show like all i saw was the screen like i was in that like it just completely invested me in the show it was amazing (sighs) dude like 
I, like I can never, I, I can't, I, I never front. I never lie about stuff that I don't know, and I and I don't hide how I feel about like anything, right? When it comes down to the soundtrack of Dragon Ball, right? I always show love for both because, like I said, like we're saying, we grew up listening to a certain track. Yep. Right. And that is what we hold dear to our hearts all after all these years because that's what we grew up with. Kind of yeah, just and if like, you listen to the other one and that's what you hold dear, that's cool. Like, you know, that worked yeah, for like, you, but like this is what worked for us. Like that, this is and, just... and, and, and dude, I didn't even start watching dubbed Dragon Ball until like Super. Because guess what? I had no reason to watch in Japanese otherwise. <laughs> think about it. I had no reason to. Let's 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 just think about this. As a kid, as a teenager growing up and watching all these other animes and other shows and when Dragon Ball Z in its prime time was on TV in English, I saw it from start to finish in English on TV. I bought the orange bricks, right? Did your orange bricks have the Bruce Falconer? I don't even remember. Because I got some orange bricks. I didn't have all of them. I got a couple of them. I, I got all it. nine. Me and Brother Uch literally. They didn't have it. We got all nine. There's nine sets, right? I don't. Re- I don't remember if they're if if they're on there. Someone could definitely fill us in in the comments. But, um, like I didn't. I didn't start watching drag. Like, like I said, I I had no reason to watch it in Japanese. Like not that I never wanted to. But because I was just so used to watching everything in English anyway, I didn't really start watching things in Japanese until I started really being heavy with like other anime. Like yeah. when I started to real like like I said when I when I first learned the term anime and what it meant, that's when I started reading more manga. Like I was reading back and back then, it was Naruto, it was Bleach, it was Dragon Ball Z, it was Roni Kenshin. These were the mangas, right? The animes that corresponded. Naruto and Bleach, especially. I'm about to start watching Bleach, so shout out. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen Bleach that, before. Them two, especially, were like part of what I really, in my like young teen years, grew up with even further beyond, right? And then, <laughs> but then once those were like over and done with, like while I was watching that, I was like, I have really no reason to watch Dragon Ball Z in Japanese because, like, I just don't, and like. During that time period, I was watching Dragon Ball. I was watching Naruto and Bleach on TV in English. But when I discovered you could watch more episodes on like YouTube back in the day, right? Yeah, that was crazy. That's what I was doing. So I didn't get put on to watching Dragon Ball Super in Japanese until Super came out. Pretty much like 2015, 16, around that time period. So like when, when Resurrection, nah, nah, Resurrection F. I'm sorry. Battle, Battle of, of Gods. Gods. Battle of Gods. So, but yeah. Bro, I, I was like screaming when I found out they're coming out with a movie uh, like Battle of the Gods. It was like Dragon Ball. <laughs> we should <laughs> like, we we should we should save that for for another for the next episode. We'll 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 pick we'll pick up where we left off with this conversation. But this is this guy's right here is the full power podcast from here on out. Uh, we might we might feature some new some guests in the future. We might, but if you guys want us to talk about anything in 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 particular, definitely leave a comment uh, down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Especially with all these crazy changes that YouTube is forcing upon us with all these laws and whatnot. Yeah, anything Dragon Ball, like just ideas, you know, stuff you want. Yeah. Confirmed opinions, anything, just anything. Throw it down. Anything, and we'll we'll definitely <clears throat> peep them. We'll we'll check back with you guys. Most likely next week for sure for episode six. This was episode five, even though it does feel like a fresh, new, you know, series. It's a reboot phase, but that's okay. My my brother, Kai, is going to be with us for all of them. Gang, gang. Okay, so like I said, like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Keep it locked loaded right here on Uchi Games channel. Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. I'll see y'all next time. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Yo, you, I mean, Broly get a perfect. But yeah. on the agenda, we're just going, just going Dragon Ball it up. Exactly. I can't really see that. I don't know if I'm in the shot. Um, I'm just gonna do my thing, like the the intro. <laughs> this is like good blooper stuff too, right now. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay.